you know, look at that, 24 and a half million hits. This on YouTube. That guy was in college, this in a way wrote a poem and, and posted it. Guys, it's not about religion. How many of you guys, and I hear this all the time, I'm a religious, or I'm not that religious, but you know, I go to church every once in a while. I'm not here to teach religion or preach religion or say, guys, get religious. Just like he said, religion, which is so many religions, is man searching that for God. Guys, something called grace, something that's hard to comprehend. You know, our church is teaching the quote unquote tell your story. Just, we have 200 people here on Wednesday night coming out just to learn how to share their faith. Because some people might sit there sit there and say, yeah, I have a relationship with Christ, but I don't know how to share it. Where are you guys at? Do you guys call yourself religious? Maybe not. Do you guys even think about it? Do you guys care? Grace. It's like a free gift. Thumb out. It's like it. Grace. You cannot earn your way to heaven. Man, we're sinful. Sinful beings. By grace we've been saved. Through faith, it's not, we cannot earn our way. So no one can boast. God, look, grace, hitchhiking. Man, sinful, pointing at you. The biggest finger. God, he is a merciful God. He's also a just God. He has to punish sin. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So the ring finger, the church is the bride, Christ. He sent Christ down to save us. Guys, the crucifixion on the cross is the most gruesome death ever in that time. God sent his son down. It's not just a fictional story. And a lot of guys might sit there and say, Yeah, I believe in God, yeah, I believe in those Bible stories. Well, what does it mean to you? And a lot of times, you sit there and say, I've been taught that, but how do I get that for me? A lot of times, you guys might not have been taught through whatever church, through the families, to sit there and say, I can have that saving faith. And that's what the fifth one is, faith. Not temporary faith, saving faith. Knowing, knowing if you didn't, that your sins are forgiven, past, present, future, that you don't have to go to the priest. You remember last week where Tim Sparrow was sitting here saying, I didn't know, I didn't have that security to know. Guys, God's been so real in my life. And it's because I know I can't do that. I can't do it on my own. With the five kids, the adoption, and 15 years of marriage, losing three jobs. It, it, let, me, let me just tell you, God has shown himself. And I'm just asking you guys to lay down this pride of whatever's holding you guys back. If that didn't spell it out, if you guys don't feel a tongue, I, I'd be very, very, very surprised. It's something you guys are not doing. It's more than you guys are showing up here April 28th for Basketball Sunday. It's more than just this. This might be the only time you walk through church doors. This might be the only time you hear the word Jesus Christ except for a curse word throughout the week. How's he affecting your life? So guys, I'm just here to challenge you guys to really think. Email me. Tell me where you guys are at. Tell me what's holding you guys back. Because what? What's holding you guys back? Something so, to me, the most important decision you will ever make in your life. Me personally, he's going to change your life. He might take you away from the friends that might be pulling you down. He's going to give you hope. But guys, just like a spouse, a girlfriend, friends, you have to spend time to get to know that person. You have to get the word. That's how the Lord speaks to you. You don't have to pray these eloquent, crazy, big, huge words to say a prayer. Just talk to God and tell him how you're feeling. Guys, he's real. He's not this, you know, super, super thing you have to go through 15 people to get to. You don't have to write him a letter or send him an email. Guys, he's right here next to you. And when you ask, when you lay down and say, Lord, please... Some people might say, hi. But Stefan came and shared and opened up. It's all saying, I can't do this anymore. Lord, please forgive me of my sins. Lord, I want to live for you. 
Thank you for dying on the cross. Please come into my life. And guys, it's not a temporary thing. It's just fight us out for a week. Your sins are forgiven. And just like Stefan, will be living with Christ in eternity. So again, if Christ, when you guys die, and God says, why should I live in the heaven? If there's any other answer except, Lord, I do not deserve this, but because of Jesus Christ dying on the cross. That is the only way. So when God looks at me, he does not see my dirty, sinful self. He sees what Christ did on the cross. So guys, let's say it prayer. Lord, thank you for tonight. Thank you for the, the games, Lord, keeping everyone healthy and safe. Lord Jesus, we do lift up Naira that uh, towards the killings last week, Lord. Heal his body. Lord Jesus, we pray uh, for Coach Bill as he's in the hospital this week, Lord. And we would all just lift him up and he would heal his body, Lord. Keep him safe and bring him back this week and be with his family, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hey guys, real quick. April 28th, 10 o'clock. Meet over in the main, main sanctuary. Rich, myself, the coaches will be out there. I'll reserve a couple of uh, cues. 10 o'clock. Afterwards, that for the kids, we can register them. There's a couple options. Older kids, first grade and above. After worship, we can go upstairs to cool kids' church. If they're younger, we can go to the nursery. Worst case, if you guys need to, right in this room, they, they watch the service live. I take my baby in there every other week. So, April 14th, afterwards, we're here for some good food, possibly get some trophies, if I have that all together. April 28th, sorry. Oh, okay. That's the 14th. Uh, that's April 28th. Get that right. 28th. We'll have lunch. Nothing super special. I'll probably have a passenger here just so they can see it and say hi. Guys, that means a lot, real quick. Besides Bill and Matt, no one else here goes to this church. So the, I sent this email out. What does that say to the church if you guys do not show up that of 18 weeks, the, these guests can't come from one service? So that's what I'm asking, guys. Besides the point of another opportunity for you guys to, to experience church or hear the gospel, but if you guys show the respect to come and say, hey, we respect this lead. We want to come, at least come to one service. So remember, April 28th, 10 o'clock. Thanks, guys.